Welcome, spiritual developers. Nasi Ashuvel at it again. Let's go. Today's topic is golden ratio and the forbidden fruit. Um, this is a topic I discussed in my book, The Queen's Sacrifice, many years ago. So I'm going to take the book off the shelf, dust it off, and we bring this information. And I'm going to try to give it to you as simple as I can. Right? So let's go. Everything in this world, from our physical bodies to seashells, is based off a phenomenon called golden ratio. Golden ratio. This is a symmetrical pattern to all creation. Um, it's depicted in the Torah as the fruit. And the golden apple in some mythologies. Golden means ratio is what creates phase conjugation. Oh, phase conjugation? What's that? Don't let it scare you. Phase is a series, a pattern, or a time. It's a series of time that conjugates. Remember, conjugal rights, sex, fruitful, multiply. These phases conjugate and they multiply. They come together and they multiply. In physics, this is the first time we see self-organization. The pattern is the only geometrical shape that creates charge compression towards the center and charge acceleration. Look at it from the top, charge, compression, charge acceleration. Compression, meaning it's being packed in densely. Acceleration, the speed up force, all right? Now, this is what happens inside of an electron, is this phase conjugation. An electron is basically the shell of the atom that spins around and creates is what you see as the matter um, and this phase conjugation that happens inside the electron is what creates your protons and how even gravity exists. So we exist because of this pattern or whatever is going on. And I want to call Eve the electron, and I'm going to explain why. If we take a subatomic approach, we see Eve is called the mother of all living, which from a literal, literal perspective... I could be highly questioned, but if you go into a subatomic perspective, it's absolute truth. The electron is called the elementary particle, and in the metaphysical Bible dictionary, Eve is called the elementary of life. Let us look at this strand of DNA and see if we see three major biblical components in the garden story. Now remember, phase conjugation happens inside of Eve, the electron, so we have one major player. And look closely. And while you're looking, I'm going to explain this. The DNA molecule, the program for all life, follows golden rule ratio. We measure the major groove to the minor groove in a spiral, and we'll get 21, 34 angstroms. And if you continue, it's the pattern. This series, this number is called the Fibonacci sequence, which is the closest you can get to golden ratio using integers, whole numbers. Look at this thing again. Tell me if you see two, mother, two other players. All right. If you don't, here we go. Look at the serpent. A helical spiral was depicted as a serpent in ancient times. So when you looked at the strand of DNA, you seen the helical spiral. We have Eve, we have the serpent, but then you had some numbers, some measurements involved. And this is probably why the ancients seen the serpent as the creator God. Many, many, many kingdoms seen the creator as a serpent God and Enki was depicted as a serpent who helped create men in the Sumerian text. And we see him in the garden story. Now, one more thing, one more component we're looking for. Ha ha, the fruit. The fruit also follows the Fibonacci series and the golden ratio. Look at the symmetry in this, the fractality of this beautiful fruit. It represents golden ratio. All right, let me explain golden ratio. Look at these numbers here. 1.618 is the major number. If you add one number to the next number, then you will get the next number, the third number. So you get the two prior numbers, you add them together to get the next number, or you can take the number and add it to 1.618 to get the next number. This is called, this series is called the golden ratio. One plus two equals three. Two plus three equals five. 5 plus 8 equals 13. 8 plus 13 equals 21. You're getting it. Let's go. Let us look at the human body because we're even following the pattern of golden ratio. If Let's start with the hand. 
you'll take the tips of the fingers. You have 10, the ratio of 10 to 14 to 24 to 38. 10 plus 14 is 24. 14 plus 24 is 38. Ah, let us look at the head. From the chin to the bottom of the lip, you have a ratio of 62 to 38. The 38 comes from the top of the lip to the bottom of the nose. If we go from the forehead, you have 38 to the brow all the way down to the chin, you have 62, a ratio that follows the Fibonacci series. All right, what about a seashell? Look at here closely. You have the 2. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 3 plus 5 equals 8. 5 plus 8 equals 13. 13 plus 8 equals 21. All right. We don't have to keep on going to explain how golden ratio is on all and all these beautiful things. Now, that was the simplest form to explain golden ratio. So now you just tapped into some deep stuff in the scriptures and you just realized that in the garden story, you have Eve, which is the electron. You have the serpent, which is the helical spiral. And the helical spiral follows the golden mean ratio, which is the fruits. The serpent, the fruit, and Eve is all you need to create life in this universe. Ah, the story becomes deeper. Now, if you have any questions or didn't understand how I broke down the garden story with the golden means ratio and connecting it with the helical spiral and showing you how all things come to life and how Eve is the mother of all living. Remember Adam? And is the Adam or the core of the Adam and Eve is the electron. She shared her knowledge or the fruit of golden ratio with the Adam and they bonded and they came together. Spiritual Development Channel.